wrapping up page four of our 8.4, 8.6 review. We're solving logarithmic equations. Look at 13a. If you have a log equal to a log with the same base, the only way that could happen is if their inside parts, which we could call their arguments, are equal. So I have x is equal to 5x minus 12. I will minus a 5x from both sides. x minus 5x is actually negative 4x. So really I have negative 4x equals negative 12. When I divide by negative 4, I will get x is equal to 3. Now please be careful. You really do have to check if plugging in 3 inside of both logs will have positive inside expressions. You will. 5 times 3 is 15, and 15 minus 12 is a positive 3. And of course, plugging in a 3 here will be fine. Should you ever substitute a value of x in where a negative is inside of the log, though, you have to throw that answer out. Let's do the same thing here. Set the insides equal. We have a base 2 log on both sides. So I have 3x minus 1 equals 7x minus 8. It's minus a 3x on both sides. We will have negative 1 equals 4x minus 8. I'll add an 8 to both sides. Negative 1 plus 8 is 7. And we'll have 7 is equal to 4x. Real quickly, we can divide by 4. And we'll have x is equal to 7 fourths. Of course, the big question is, will we get something positive if we plug that in? What you can do is, if you're ever wondering if that's the case, you could say, well, is 7 times 7 fourths, and then minus 8, would that get you something positive? And you can see it is. It's going to be 4.25. In the same way, 3 times 7 all over 4 minus 1, checking this log on the far left side, the inside would have a positive value. That indicates that our answer is good. If this inside would have turned negative, we'd have to throw it out. For number 14, do a log circle. You'll have 2 to the 5th is equal to 3x. And 2 to the 5th, by the way, is going to get you 32. You can double check that. Divide by 3. And once again, it looks pretty routine that you have 32 over 3. But if you were to plug that in inside of the log, that interior part would be positive, And we're good. Your answer would just be 32 over 3. Do a log circle here for number 14. We'll have 8 to the 1 third is equal to 2x minus 3. Now 8 to the 1 third, you could work that out. You might remember it's really the cube root of 8, which is going to be a 2. I'll add a 3 to both sides. 2 plus 3 is 5. We can divide by 2. And x will be 5 halves, or if you'd rather, 2.5. Of course, the big question is, is it okay to plug that inside of our log? Well, the inside of the log is 2 times x, so we could say 2 times 5 halves, and then minus a 3. Let's see if we get something positive. We, in fact, do. We're okay. This checks. Okay, as we come down to our last three problems here, I'd actually like to jump over to B because it, it's closer in spirit to what we've just been doing, setting two logs equal. That's something we won't be able to do for A, so just going a little out of order here. Uh, we'll have 2x is equal to 5x plus 6, but if we minus a 5x on both sides... We'll have negative 3x is equal to 6. When we divide by negative 3, we'll get x equals negative 2. However, here we can see we have a problem. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. 
and we're not allowed to plug negatives inside of logs. When we try, we'll get an error message. This problem is the reason why we do a check. There's going to be no solution. Let's take a look at A coming back using a property of adding two logs together. You can combine that into one log by multiplying the inside part. And uh, very quickly, you should notice this is a base 10 down here. You can distribute that 10 and you'll get 10x squared minus 30x is equal to 2 and then do a log circle. You'll get 10 to the second equals 10x squared minus 30x and 10 to the second is actually 100. We have to be very careful right here. We do have a quadratic and we'd like to solve that by getting 0 on one side. So I'm going to subtract 100. But let's be honest, at this point our problem looks very menacing. The numbers are rather large. But what we can do is divide every part of this problem by 10. And we'll have x squared minus 3x minus 10. Now, just helping us finish this problem up, you might remember from factoring we'd have to add to negative 3, that's in the middle here, multiply to negative 10. Thinking about what numbers do that, hopefully you're thinking about a 5 and a 2. The larger number controls the sign, so we'd have to have a negative 5 and a positive 2. Set both of these equal to 0 and you'll get x equals 5, x equals negative 2, but here we go again. Negative 2 yields negative answers inside. We have to throw that out. x equals 5, however, will have positive values inside the logs. We have to throw out one of our answers and then we're good to go. Last one. Let's combine the two logs on the left. With that addition property, we can condense the two logs by multiplying their insides together. I'm going to distribute the 2x to get 2x squared minus 10x. And uh, right now I'm going to do a log circle. I'll get 10 to the second is equal to 2x squared minus 10x. And 10 to the second is actually 100. Very much like our last problem, I'm going to subtract 100 from both sides. And just like our last problem, we have some numbers that actually might be a little menacing at present. So tell you what, let's divide everything by the leading coefficient here. Let's divide everything by 2. And we'll have 0 equals x squared minus a 5x. And then 100 divided by 2 is actually just a 50. Once again, we're going to have to find two numbers that will add to a negative 5. That's the number in the middle. But multiply to negative 50. And hopefully you're thinking about 10 and 5. 10 and 5 could multiply to 50 and add to a 5 if we, or a negative 5, if we choose negatives correctly. The big number controls the sign. We need to add to a negative 5, make the 10 negative, make the 5 positive. You'll set x minus 10 equals 0, x plus 5 equals 0. You'll get x equals negative 5 and x equals 10. But you have to throw out negative 5. If you check over here, you'd see you'd get a negative inside. There's just one answer, x equals 10.